Hi there y'all, my name is Alex, and in today's video, I wanted to do something different for our fourth upload, and today's theme basically is just a quick piece of advice about embracing hardship and how we can use hardship, adversity, and whatever that we're going through in life to help us overall become better, stronger mentally and physically as a person. And I speak of this advice because I feel like Everybody watching this video undoubtedly 100% could relate to, you know, going through tough times at some point, you know, and how we could use that as leverage to make us become better and empower us better as a person, as a whole. Because the way I see it is, I see um, hardships and misfortunes, adversities, anything that we go through as blessings in disguise. You know, I don't see it as a curse. Because that's the whole misconception that people tend to look at as hardships. They see them as curses. But the way I see them, at least from my perspective and whoever else, I'm sure they see as hardships and misfortunes as blessings in disguise. And, you know, I feel like you only get so much out of something on how much work you put in, you know. And I really put that quote on a pedestal because I don't believe in the whole idea and I despise the whole idea that, oh, you could take this shortcut to make just as much money, or you could take this short pathway, you know, to become just as strong or bigger, or whatever the case may be in whatever scenario of your life. And I feel like that all starts off with tr putting in discipline, you know, and just embracing the fact that we need to embrace the long run and not trying to skip out or take the shortcuts or taking the cheap way to build the same results and that all starts back you know to stated by david goggins in a book that i've been recently reading fantastic arthur fantastic book truly recommend it um but anyway uh, a book that i've been reading by david goggins it correlates to like our governor as he states in our brain and what the governor is is basically a piece in our brain overall that it's intertwined for our identity that really knows our fears what we hate what we love all of our insecurities basically a whole tape recording of our life and what this governor does is that it really pulls us back into our comfort zone whenever we feel worried or anxious or uncomfortable this governor comes into play whenever we tend to get out of our comfort zone and the more we feed into this governor the more it takes control of us and takes control of our one second split decisions of what we do in life to overall make us ourselves better as a person. And, you know, another quote I really, he states that the more we push past our perceived uh, capabilities, we tend to get a misfire in our brain that we feel a lot of panic, doubt, you know, that rushes into our brain from our mind, basically. And this basically prevents us from reaching our true capabilities, you know. But inevitably, for each and every single individual living on this planet Earth, if we keep on pushing, you know, dig deep into that next step, you know, whatever, whatever aspect in life they are trying to push through, we keep on pushing past our perceived capabilities, can we reach a certain point to where we feel single pointed and that our pain that we're feeling, whatever pain it may be, whether it's mentally or physically, becomes saturated in our mind. And to some degree, we become at peace with our external outside pain along with our mind. Hence, our pain, then the boundaries then tend to dissolve between our mind and the physical world. Only then can we become fully connected, truly, to ourselves and our surroundings within the depth of our soul, as David Goggin states in his book, you know. And I truly put this quote on a pedestal, and I feel like everybody should embrace hardship and pain, use it as a blessing in disguise, because after all, hardship and pain is what creates strong people in this world. And with strong people, creates an easy life. But once again, an easy life, vice versa, can create soft people. And soft people can create hard times. And that's hard times 
inevitably can create strong people once again, you know. But I feel like it's best that at all times, no matter what era we're in, that we should always have a unending desire and unending effort mindset to make ourselves put, become better as a person, you know. And embrace the idea that we must go through hardships and misfortunes inevitably and not taking shortcuts in the cheap way to become better as a person. Because 90% of the time, I guarantee you most of the time, taking the cheap way never works out, whatever aspect in life. So I just really wanted to push the idea that whatever you're going through, you know, I speak this individually to each and every one of you, whatever, whatever type of hardship misfortune, adversity, etc. Pain, tears, sweats that you're going through in life. Trust me, it's a blessing in disguise and I don't want you to change and have a mindset, you know, that it's a curse, you know. Use it to empower yourself, to, you know, exceed one's expectations of you as well, you know, from all the misfortunes that you're going through. And don't let and don't overvalue others opinions on you because that'll only make your mindset worse and hinder you as a person overall as a whole and i speak that from my experience too as well you know we go through tough times it happens once again but i can't stress enough that you know there's nothing more beautiful than embracing pain and using that to empower us overall as a person and this is coming from the heart of course and you know i get really you know i feel some type of way because now i feel like my mind even me individually when i take in consideration you know of embracing pain and hardship you feel a different type of way when you're approaching obstacles you know and that's what i live for in life to some extent you know and i find it as a blessing you know but I just want to wrap that up in today's video about today's theme is that it's just about embracing hardship and that it's inevitable no matter what we're going through we have to face difficulties and there's no way of avoiding it one way or another you're gonna eventually go through obstacles you're gonna eventually hit walls you're gonna eventually be broken down you know but it's your choice and that's why god gives us the free will to make choices to either get back up and improve ourselves or to stay then where we are, you know, and not improve ourselves overall, you know. Um, but I just want to wrap that up, you know. If you guys made it far in this video, I appreciate if you guys hit the sub button, hit post notifications, leave feedback if you guys want in the comments below. I'll show love back. And uh, that is today's video for our fourth upload. Hope y'all took something. My main goal of this video was to hopefully change y'all's perspective on how you guys look at hardships, misfortunes, or whatever you're going through in life and use that to empower yourselves. And I really hope this subject really touched you to some degree, whether it was to your heart or to your mind. And I praise in God's speed, you know, that it helps better you overall as a person or whatever you're going through. Thank y'all so much and y'all take care.